Hello and welcome everybody, I am Michael Coe. And I am Sam Aho. And we are Gaming Games, and today we are playing Tiny Epic Pirates. We are back for another two-player head-to-head. -head. Sam versus me, we'll see how this all pans out in the end. We've got everything all set up. Sam got first player, unfortunately. I sure did. And uh, with my captain, I had uh, two options, as always, and I decided to go with her. She's got the high numbers. I like that because we've got some high crew over here. And my bonus actions are uh, bury and plunder. Yeah, and see, him having chose that before me, I had that information. I could have I, I chose otherwise, but it is nice seeing all those high numbers on the crew. That does match up. So I ended up picking the same kind of captain setup. I've got the high numbers, four, five, six, and a plunder as my bonus action instead of the attack. Oh, did you straighten my ship out? I did, yeah. <laughs> you, you would fall a note to the other map card. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start off the game, and I'm going to skip my trade action first off and jump to crew, because um, I like what's going on with the crew over there, and I'm going to select this guy, ah, which makes surprising. My... I thought you were going to get the 4, 5, 6. Uh, it gives me the uh, trip 4s, and I can sell coffee and rum for 7 total. And so we get that a is, new crew member. That is very nice. Okay, Ooh. all right. Well, a 2-3 came out with an attack bonus. That's, uh... Hmm. All right, well, I had some ideas about pick up and deliver and how awesome that was going to be for my strategy this game, but that's really tempting to make me mutiny. Um, uh, you know, because I got crew as my first action, so I'm certainly not going to... No need to skip that. I pick up some crew early. Uh, and I am going to sail just a little bit closer to this orange merchant ship it has sugarcane like what i'm carrying so it makes a lot of sense to pick that up and you know what because she came out i am going to take that temptation i'm going to mutiny i'm going to throw blackbeard here over the over the side of the ship already and, and flip over to her and i'm going to pick up this as my crew she got the she has the potential of re-rolling ones and sixes if i take an attack action so i'm going to see how that pans out hmm and then a three four so it could help either one of us there all right, so now for me, I have a couple of options that I could do. I don't know which one I like best, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip over plunder and move to attack, and I'm going to move into this black ship space, and I am going to attack that black ship. All right. Looking for high numbers. A four would be awesome. Nope. Low numbers. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll take those. How about you give yeah. me that roll for my next attack, and, and you can uh, give me a gold, and then you can uh, re-roll. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not giving you a gold. <laughs> um, all right. So I rolled nothing on my numbers. I do have one in cannon, so technically I have a one strength against the merchants, too. So I do get jostled off of my cannons, and I get a surefire token. All right, so I have trade next. I am right next to a place to trade some sugar. Um, but again, that orange merchant ship has more sugar on it. And I think I'd rather save my trade of that sugar until I can trade them both at the same time. So I'm going to be hopeful. I'm going to move up over there. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. And I'm going to make an attack on that orange merchant ship. I'm going to hope I rolled exactly what Sam rolled. Nope, I got Sam's four. Oh, uh, you still get it, though. But you got I, threes. I did hit the three. So that's going to connect with two of my crew for two hits. I got somebody on my cannons for a third hit. That will sink that merchant ship, and I will certainly be taking their sugar cane. And that will move the orange merchant ship all the way down to Sam's corner now, so he's got some options. We'll take this card out of here. And they are coming out with some gunpowder. Replace that with another two. I will take my two golds, and that's that. All right. I am going to go to search. I am going to move up into the storm here, so I do get jostled. I don't have anybody down on my deck assignment, so it's actually going to get jostled off my ship wheel. Um, and I'm going to perform the first action, which is search. Uh, and I found two gold. Oh, wow. It's always nice finding money I like when you're searching. That. I love finding two gold. Yeah, that's always nice. And then I get to plunder, and I am in a double plunder spot, so I get to draw two cubes from the booty bag. And I got some rum and some sugar cane. Now that was fortuitous for me because I have the crew member that allows me to trade both rum and coffee, which are both in my boat, yeah, for seven. Quite nice. Now I don't have. I've got the search and attack at this point because I I mutinied and I don't have anybody to attack. I'm I'm really way out there. So, uh, 
but you can find some really good things in the sea. So I'm still going to jump over here to search. I'm going to move over and flip that, and I found three golds. So oh, man. I'll take the three gold. That's as, many, that's as much gold as you can find in the sea, so that was pretty awesome. But I don't get to plunder like Sam did, so. Okay. Well, I am going to jump over to here. I'm going to put that into rigging. Um, which is going to increase my movement. So I have a base movement of one, but that's going to move me up to two. And I'm basically sacrificing my ship to a navy hit so that I can perform my special trade action <laughs> in trading both of these uh, for seven gold. That does not adjust the market price, but I do get to jump all the way up to ten. Uh, that's, and that's I pretty nice. crossed the ship line so the navy doesn't have to move because the navy... Just smacks me because I moved in to say hello to them. Well, I'm going to move both of the merchant ships this direction, heading toward their port, the northeast corner of the map. And then I am going to skip over plunder. I'm going to skip over my second crew option. And I'm actually just going to jump all the way down to trade, where I get to pick up a deckhand. I will put that deckhand in rigging because I don't anticipate a fight anytime too soon and I'm gonna move over back into this corner where I was and I'm going to sell out both of my sugar canes that's gonna get me six gold total and that's six so that'll put me up to 12 and we adjust the market accordingly yes and then I did cross the ship line so we get some action Navy gets to move towards you doesn't quite hit you um, and I'm gonna move that ship there, and that ship there. Okay. Back to my turn. I am going to just move one spot and crew up. I'm going to move right here. And then for my crew up, I'm actually going to take her. Yeah. And so that gives me now a bonus action on my search of trading. And it all increases my fours and my sixes. Wow. That was a great pull. Um, I will skip oh, over... Oh, the double three, though. Plunder <laughs> Barry. <laughs> I'm going to oh. skip over my attack. I just am not confident about attacking Sam right now, so I'm going to jump over my attack. I'm going to come over to search. I'm going to come down into the storm, which will jostle me. I'll have to take him off my ship wheel. Uh, and I'm going to take the one that's on attack off of there. And I will perform a search... And I found a plus two movement for later. That'll be handy. I'll hold on to that. And then I'm going to bury 12 gold right here on this little secret hideaway. There we go. All right. So now for me, I am kind of up there because I got hit by the Navy. It really affected what I can do, especially early game. Because I don't have that much movement, and by hitting by the Navy, I don't have any of my guys in my deck assignments. That's brutal. Which, it does hurt, so I'm going to have to do some skipping around, because uh, I don't have a repair. I could skip all the way to Cove and hide out, um, but I'm going to skip these, because I do want to take my search action, and I'm going to do it right where I am. I'm not even going to move, um, so I'm going to search, and I found a cross storm for later on. I would. Nice. I, that is very helpful. Yes. And then, as a bonus, I can also plunder. There is no plunder spots where I am, but I can trade. And as it so happens, I have some sugar cane right here that I'm going to trade mm, for two. Wow, that was really nice. That, and that was your crew that did that for you? That was my crew Woo! that did that for me as a bonus action. Woo! That's that's really good. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, you. All right. Well, I'll I... be here all week. I can't afford to not get that double three crew that came out, especially with like a plunder berry sub action. That guy is awesome. Anytime you can get a berry as a sub action yeah, that allows you to do that, it's really good. Right Mainly now, better later game, as yes, you yeah, as you can yeah. really combo those actions with the crew. It's really good later <sighs> game. Right now, the plundering for two goods in that spot is a good setup, and I'm kind of missing that if I jump over. Um, man, and that navy is awfully close to me as well, which is. I'd have to move into the storm even further to avoid him. I, I got to get that crew, though. The Navy's your friend. I got to get... Well, <laughs> maybe a long time. That was another lifetime ago, man. I, I have burned those bridges. Um, actually, so I'm just... I'm jumping onto the crew. Is that where so, you got your start was in the Royal Navy? Yeah. 
And it's a long story. We'll, we'll go over it, but I wrote a book. You can read the book, too. <laughs> I'm going to come down uh, into here, and that's going to jostle me. I will jostle that off of my rigging. I'm going to keep it on my cannon for now. Um, and because I, I, cause the, the merchant ships are going to get pretty close to me. So, uh, but then Sam's going to go and it's going to move again. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think to set myself up, I have to take it off canning and keep the rigging. Okay. Uh, but I am going to pick up this double three. It's going to make me super buff. Uh, ooh, and oh then man, a one, two. One, two. That helps as well. Oh. Um, oh yeah, I've got the plus two movement. You know, sorry, I'm going to stay on the cannons because I just remember I got this plus two movement. I'm going to keep that there. So much switching around. Hey, hey, <laughs> you can go back and watch the tape. Everything's legit. All right, but I did cross the line. The ships will move. Okay, I am going to send the Navy this way. I am going to send that guy up here. And this guy will go right there. Because these guys are both heading towards this port, as we can see by their heading. Um, now for me, I really don't want to get hit by the Navy. I've already had that happen before. It's not pleasant. <laughs> uh, but I don't have anything to trade, because I just traded. So I'm going to skip over the trade action. And I'm going to stop on crew up. And I'm actually just going to stay right where I am. And I'm going to pick up this guy. So now my ship is really beefy. My fours are one, two, three, four, five. Oh. My sixes are three, and my fives are two. Woo. So for ha for ha for being the the plunder <laughs> yeah. the the plunder captain, oh. I have a very scary ship. I'd be afraid if you mutinied. Um, <coughs> all right, and then uh, you cross the ship line there. I did. So the ships are going to move. Yep. So the navy. I'm going to send the navy this direction. And we're going to have this merchant come here. Well, and why not just have this merchant come into my spot? That's nice and convenient. Um, I'm going to skip over my trade. And I'm going to go to attack. I get to reroll ones and sixes if I would like on this attack. Here we go. Hey, I'm going to reroll that six. I'll tell you that right now. Give me something low. Oh, I wanted a three. Okay, that's a full miss. Miss, miss, miss all around. Um, but I do have the cannons, the one hit, still no good. So I will get jostled, but I will pick up a surefire token, and that will not be happening anytime soon again. So, All right. Um, so I have my 12 gold to be able to bury, and I have an empty ship. I have two great actions here of plunder and attack, but I'm going to skip both of them because I want to get this gold off of my ship. Because I skipped both of those, I get to take these deckhands down here. Uh, I'm going to put one in, one in rigging and... Ooh, do I want one in cannons? Or no, just look how keep tough you are. You don't need in cannons. I am, I am pretty tough, and I, I would love to have... I am going to take the extra move. <laughs> but, no, but, but legitimately, I think it would help me a lot. Um, and I'm just going to move right down to this storm, and I'm going to use this handy-dandy storm later, this cross storm, to be able to get over that. And so I do my first... Search, and I found a good, oh, which nice. is great. And my bonus action is to plunder, which I draw two, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw three from the bag and fill up my ship right oh, now. That's awfully nice. It is. And I found two coffee and a sugar cane. Okay. Least, I would have preferred... At least the lower end of the market. I'd prefer that same distribution, but <laughs> on the higher end uh, would have been better. But, you know, I'll take it. That's fine. And uh, I could trade, but there's not a market in my space. So, But stay tuned for when we do a video with the deluxe content, because they will be floating markets on the board, which would be very handy right about now. But uh, you'll, have to, you'll have to watch another video with our Crimson Silver deluxe content. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned for that. We will be doing that as well as a Chris of Amdiac playthrough. I'm going to jump over here right to my next action of search. I'm going to take a look here and find a surefire token. Uh oh. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's not good. All right, all right. And then I am going to. Oh, sorry. I buried. Uh, yes. Doi. <laughs> yeah, I, that was kind of the whole thing. There. I got so excited, but yes, I did bury and <laughs> spent all my gold. All right. So, just, to, just so we all know that happened. I have to go back and watch the tape for you now, too. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to attack as my bonus action on the orange merchant. There's no way I'm losing this time. Um. I don't get to do my reroll because it's a search action with a bonus. But I like that you have to spend your surefire token. But I will have to spend that. Uh, I'll change that to a three, which will qualify me for four hits on that guy. 
and we will discard that merchant card. I will pick up the two golds, and of course I'll take the gunpowder that they're carrying. And so does that make the merchant a four strength now? And that will make them a four strength. Woo-wee! In a two-player game, beating a four strength merchant will move you up on the legendary track. So, handy to know. Yeah. And you didn't cross over anything? I did not, oh. so it's your turn. Oh, man alive. Um, I really want to cross that ship line, but we are so close to that Navy, and I don't want to get hit by that guy. He's just so nasty. <laughs> but I, I... Oh, I wish I had higher value goods, because then I could trade some stuff in. I mean, I can still do it, but... I'm going to get hit by the Navy unless I can reach... Can I reach? So I have two on rigging and one. So I only have three movement. One, two, three. <laughs> one short of getting down to this coffee. Mm. One movement short. Darn it. All right. Well, I'm just going to I'm just gonna have to take the hit. Uh, I don't love doing this at all. But since I'm going to take the hit, I'm going to drop that guy and extort. And I'm going to jump up here and sell the two coffees that are in my boat. What? fix that in a moment <laughs> but i'm gonna you. sell both of those coffees uh for six i'm trying not to put too much of my head inside the camera well, yeah and it's, it's easy to bump the camera too yeah so that's that's why i'm struggling so much but i sold those for six so i readjust the market um and then i cross the ship wheel line so first i check i do have a gold and ex or have a deck hand and extort so i gain a gold and then the ships move okay well the navy's definitely coming right to you uh, I'm going to move the orange merchant ship this way and the black merchant ship up here. Okay, and since I'm in a spot with double plunder, I'm just going to move over to the plunder and I'm going to take two goods from this poor little settlement. Relieve them of the, the weight well, and responsibilities of, I'll play of all their money. Well, you did get a higher end of the spectrum and a great for you. You got a second gunpowder and some Woo! coffee. I'll take it. That was uh, very, very fortunate yeah. for you. Well, my turn again. I could crew up. And crewing up, honestly, would be good. But my ship's really strong right now, and I feel like at the moment that's not an action that I have to take. So I'm going to skip it. Um, and I'm actually going to pop on down to Plunder. Oh, man, I need to upgrade my ship. This one movement is killing me. And you're so tough, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, now I place myself in the other end I of the map. I'm surprised you didn't go down and take out that orange merchant when, when you had I, a chance. I let the Navy hit me, which got rid of all my deckhands and rigging, which was giving me the boost to my sailing that I needed. Um, yeah, because I can't reach anybody with attack. Uh, one movement is killer. Okay, well, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to move right here. And I don't get to search. I was ready to pick up that token. Uh, I get to plunder a single cube, and I found a second Sugar King, which... Well, that's good. You know, if it wasn't going to be high, I'd rather be the Sugar King yeah. than the coffee. Uh, so I found a Sugar King, and then also as a bonus for my plunder action, which was a secondary thing that I definitely didn't think about was i get to move the navy two spaces <laughs> are you about to cross your ship wheel line yeah well now that's, i now i know weird. what direction i need to go <laughs> oh man um okay so he can move three on me though the navy being that i have buried. buried so i'm gonna have to go to that bottom corner i'm gonna skip over onto crew uh, i think i can afford to take a crew action right now being that sam really just kind of plundered and uh, do I spend a gold and wipe what's out there? It's risky. I feel like I could find maybe a possibly better pairing. Uh, uh, the one and two is not bad though. Turns my two into. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe, and I'm gonna get rid of these three crew. I'm gonna see what new ones we have out here. Four five, not what I'm looking for. A two two. Okay okay. On a one, two, three. Oh, man. So I'm going to come down here on my crew action, and I'm going to... Ooh, but that's a trade and attack? Oh, so then I could... Then my rondelle would be attack 
as a sub action to trade, then the attack action, then attack as a sub action to search. That would be pretty lethal. But that one, two, three is so hard to pass up on. Uh, and I get to move the merchants with that if I do plunder action, which is not too shabby. Um, hmm, this tough call. Tough, tough call. But I'm going to take, ultimately, I'm going to take that, that one, two, three. Because that turns my three into a five. And with a surefire token, being able to beat a four ship is really, really critical. Um, all right, I did cross the ship line, so everything will move. Okay, Navy moves three spaces towards you. One, two, three. And I'm going to move this orange ship here. And then the black ship does reach its destination port. So it goes ahead and turns around. And it delivers those, those goods. We're going to swap that out and put a new good in there. Okay. And he found rum instead of coffee. Hey. Okay. We found it. He, del <laughs> he picks them up. Um, now it's my turn. taking a search action. Yeah, mer merchant is searching. Um, <laughs> oh, so I'm in a tough spot because I just have not moved up on my legendary track. I'm still really slow, and I kept getting hit by the navy, which did me no favors. As much as I really hate to do this because I'm so far away from everybody, I am going to... Uh, Going to hide out. Yeah, that's a good that's a good response though to the yeah. navy hits. Yeah, I'm gonna hide out because then I get to place these wherever I want. Um, definitely gonna put probably two in rigging. I could drop one in extort to get some gold right now, but I'm gonna put one in cannons because I think that an attack or two is coming up in my future. Yeah. So I cross the ship line. We're ready to go. Okay, uh, so the ships will move. Navy's moving three, one, two, three. That's really nice, Sam. I'm glad you moved him so far away from me. And he's going to advance this way, and he's going to advance this way. And I am going to... Oh, do I take the opportunity now and attack that merchant ship? But then I skip my trade, and I've got some goods to trade. I, I can't. I can't quite be that aggressive. I'm going to jump on trade. I'm going to drop my deckhand into cannons. Actually, no, I have to drop him into rigging to reach my destination, which is going to be right here where I can sell my gunpowder. So I'll sell both of these gunpowders at a market value of four. So that'll be a total of eight gain. So I'll move up to nine gold. Oh. That'll shift the market. And I don't have any sub actions to trade. I could have had the sub action. Oh, if I had taken the sub action of attack, I'd be attacking that ship right now in addition to my trade. Wow. Okay. Mm. Well, obviously I missed that. That's a big deal. Okay. So then for me, I am going to take the trade action. And I'm going to move right here and I'm going to trade in both of these sugars um, for eight, which would put me at 15, but I max out at 13. Very nice. So I am now ready to bury again. Very nice. Well done. Thank you. Well done. I will move over to attack my next action, and I'm going to attack that orange merchant ship in hopes that I will increase my legendary status in these waters here. Okay, so I got a one, which is worth two, and then I don't have any on cannons, but I can use my surefire token, change that four to a three. That'll get me a total of a seven hit on that guy, and I take him out handedly. So I will gain four gold, putting me at the max 13, we're going to pull out another one, and looks like he's carrying some coffee, which is really perfect for me. Uh, and I'm going to move him down here, and then some gunpowder. I move up my track, so I will gain two more gold, but it's, it's wasted, but nonetheless I get the other benefits that are associated. All right. Okay. Oh, man. I've just been so far away from everybody this whole stinking game. So you're keeping up though with your whole trading thing going on. You're making some money over there somehow. Yeah. I'm going to have to skip all the way over to... <laughs> all those guys that I just put in, I have to skip over them. Because um, I'm going to move right here and I am going to search. There's no search token there, but I'm going to bury my 13 gold. Um, drop that. And then there is a settlement there, so I'm going to plunder 
but only a single cube. Well, that's nice, though. Um, and I found some gunpowder, which is... I have not yet drawn something high on the... <laughs> on the black market spectrum, but, you know, it's okay. And that's it for me. All right, so I'm going to take my next action of search. I have a total movement of two, because my, my legend level plus one in the rigging, so I'm going to move one, two, three over here. Um, and then I'm going to search. So I will first find two gold that gets dumped into the water. And then I will bury, so I'll bury my 13 gold, drop that, and then I will follow up with an attack. Oh, this would have been so pivotal for me to hit this attack, and I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't at all. So I roll a four and a five, and those numbers don't hit at all. So I get jostled, I pick up a surefire token, and that's a real shame. Ooh, yeah, that that's that how I would describe it, as a shame. That would have been real <laughs> nice to get that money right now. All right, that's that. Okay, well, uh, I... Man, I'm just too far away from all these ships all the stinking time. Um, I think you got the Black Merchant ship over there. Yeah, I only have one movement still. Oh. And I just keep having to jump around to make sure that <laughs> I... Trying to use my actions most effectively, so... I have to hide out. I'm going to go right there. So I'm going to pick these guys all back up, which is going to cause the ships to move. I'm once again going to put two in my rigging and one in my cannons. Three. Move this merchant ship here and this merchant ship here. I'm going to try to keep those merchant ships away from you as much as possible. All right. So let's see now. I am going to skip plunder. I've got two coffee. Where's the nearest coffee? That's right there. Okay, so I will skip plunder. I will skip crew. I'm going to jump over to trade. I only have two movement, but I will use that token I found earlier in the game for plus two movement. That will allow me to turn my ship around, sail all the way over here, and then trade out these coffees for eight gold. That will adjust the market. All right, it's coming down to it, Sam. Yep, and uh, that, the, the ships, ships are moving. Move, yep. Okay, so this guy is moving four towards you now. Um, one, two, three, four. Ooh, still just barely missing me. I'm loving and that. Then, and then this guy will move up into here. Okay. For me, I'm going to skip over trade. Um, do I want to skip over trade? I could move on to trade. Go down and get four. Hmm. I am actually not going to skip trade. I'm going to go down to trade and go one, two, three. Because I was able to keep those guys, and I'm going to trade this off for four gold right there and adjust the market. Okay, okay. Any bonus actions? Nope, not on trade. Well, I'm, yeah, I don't have I don't have coffee and rum, so. All right. I am going to make an attack. So I'm going to move up into here. I've got the two movement because of my legend level, and I will attack that black merchant ship because it doesn't have a surefire token but it's only it's only a two wouldn't gain enough really to make that be all that meaningful oh but sam and your best is uh your best is four at, at how many my best five. is i can guarantee five hits you can guarantee five oh sorry hits. six hits because I can surefire into a four, plus I have one in cannon. So I can oh. guarantee six. And I can guarantee with my surefire token, five. Whew. I don't know that I want to risk that. Oh, gonna... come on. Come on, let's do this. I'm attacking the black. No, oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, see, I'm... that was a bad roll. Bad, bad roll. I almost kind of want to just lose to this merchant ship and get another surefire token with such a bad roll. Um, to defend myself against Sam. I'm going to do that, actually. I'm just going to lose. My roll was so poor. I will get jostled off of my 
rondelle, so I'll move that deckhand down. And I lost that fight. Hmm. I would <laughs> love to say that I feel sympathy, uh, but that is just not the case. Um, so I am going to... Ooh. I need something big here. All right. I need something big. I'm going to jump on over to attack. And I'm going to move into this storm, which will jostle me off of my cannons. And I'm going to attack that orange ship. May I please have a second? This is my first attack of the game. Use that surefire. Oh, no. Or is it my second? No, it's my second. Set, yeah. I lost, lost, I lost my, my first one. Early game. Come on. High numbers. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. That's big. Yeah, that's a he five, a six, chance. seven. Oh, yeah. So that's four gold for beating the merchant ship. So four to eight. But then I also move up my legendary track so I get an additional two gold as a windfall. Um, oh. And I get to take that gunpowder token. That's tough. And this guy's going to come over to here. All right, that was, that was pretty good. Oh, yeah, that was good for you. That was not so good for me. Not so Came good Came back with some gunpowder. And you didn't have to use that surefire token either? Nope. Wow, fancy. I've been waiting for that to move this entire game. <laughs> so fancy. I, oh, and I don't have any goods to trade. Man, this is... This is looking tough. Alright, I am going to skip over my search action, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move over the search action. I'm going to move on to the plunder action. I'm going to put that deck hand in rigging. And oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to take that deck hand right back off of rigging here in just a moment. But I'm going to come over to here and uh, no, actually. I'm going to come up over to here, one, two, movement, and I will get jostled for moving into the storm, and then I will plunder, so I will take two goods, and that's, hopefully there's something, okay, cool, I got the, the rum, rum and gunpowder. All right, all right, that's good. Here, I'll put them in for you. I can use that. Oh, thanks. Okay, and then... Uh, as a sub-action to plunder, I could bury, but I don't have the gold. That would have been nice if I had beaten the ship earlier. Still wouldn't have enough, though. But I can also move a merchant ship of my choice two spaces. Um, or up to two spaces. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move this merchant ship up here. It doesn't have to move in the direction that it's going toward its port. So I'm just going to sneak him up there. All right, your turn. Okay. So. All right. I am going to skip over my search. Cross over into trade. And I'm going to go right here and I'm going to trade that gunpowder even though it's only worth two that's enough it's gonna put me right at 12 and I did cross the ship line so the ships move all right so you get smacked another time by the Navy well, I know I just cannot that Navy is persistent and I'll move over there okay all right, I'm going to skip over crew, and I'm going to take a trade action. I'm going to move over here, trade this rum, which will max me out on my golds, and adjust the market. All right, and that also crossed the line, so that means I will also get smacked by the Navy. It's just worst time in the game to get hit by the Navy. And then the other ships move. Okay. This guy will move here. Um, and that guy is going to move right there. Okay, so then for my turn, I have enough to bury. So just to give you guys some insight, I didn't want to 
Let's point this out to Michael, but he saw it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I could have traded on my search and actually picked up possibly whatever this search token was here, but I purposely skipped over it to the trade so that my deckhands would get hit by the Navy and then I could use them to jump to search mm. so I could bury for this action. Uh, so I will Clever. be ending the game here. I move on to there and I jostle off. One of mine, I do get to search. I'm hoping for gold, because Michael will also be able to bury this time. Yes. And if he can't get to a 12-er, then I'll... Oh, no, he'll... Then I'll win on gold. Nope, I found a surefire token. Okay. Um, and so then I will go ahead and bury, which is going to be my last one right, right, right there. And then a sub-action, I get to plunder, so I'll take two. I found... Hey, there's now for my final action of the game after it doesn't matter is when I get the top end of the black market. All right, well, that triggers the end of the game. I'm going to jump over for my final action. I'm going to jump over the attack. I'm going to go on to the search. Um, I can move two spaces, which is very fortunate for me. I'll move over to here. I will jostle off my attack. Uh, there's no token to search, but I will bury for 12 gold this token. And... The first tiebreaker is the level of your legendary track, which Sam and I are both tied. And the second tiebreaker is the number of golds you have, and I have one to Sam zero, making me the victor again. Come on. Sail into the sunset victoriously. Ugh. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. See you on the Kickstarter, and uh, see you in the comments.